I don't think my thirst for CD players will ever be quenched. Today I'm focusing on the Moran CD60, analyzing its features and sound quality to determine how it can benefit you. I will also assess whether this disc spinner offers the inherent value I always seek in my hi-fi components. Let's get to it. You know, I have always found something special about each CD player I've listened to. It's amazing to think that an engineer or squadron of engineers spent their time carefully designing the circuits and components that give us an audio experience. Great. Uncovering the subtle differences in sound signatures and profiles when using these players is truly fascinating for me. I'm always amazed when people claim they all sound the same, because logically, how could they? You only get one chance to make a great first impression, especially at the $1,000 price point, and the Moran CD60 did quite well. After pulling this unit out of the box, I was really impressed by its weight and how solid it felt. It's actually quite big. I mean, I saw the pictures online and I thought it'd be a smaller form factor, but nope. It's a full-size CD player. I love how the front of the unit has this sleek, modern design. It's cool to see audio components moving in a more contemporary direction, especially when so many companies are all about that nostalgic vibe right now. Not that I'm totally against it, but I think if you're going for a vintage look, you should price it right for the folks you're trying to reach. But I digress. After plugging everything in, I immediately fired it up, and I know this might seem insignificant to some, but I really, really, really like how quiet the disc tray was when I opened it and closed it. It, this might be a me thing, but it just sounded like a quality product. It didn't have that cheapy, plasticky vibe that I have heard from so many other units. The front of the unit is straightforward and clean, offering the usual track controls, eject, input, and phones level controls, as well as a USB-A input so you can play some songs on a USB drive. It does support FLAC, WAVE, AIFF, ALAC, and DSD. I've never used that feature on a CD player, but for those that are going to use this as a versatile player, I think they'll find some value there. As well as with the headphone amp, another feature that has been integrated in so many players I have owned, never once used it. Finally, it has a power button and a display screen to show you all the information you need to get things set up, as well as info on the music playing. I'm a minimalist, and I can't stand a busy front fascia, which is why I'm glad Morantz kept it simple. The rear is just as matter of fact providing analog outputs, coax, and optical outputs, a remote in and out, which you can use with the Moran's 40N and Model 30 to connect the player to these other components for easy management between them all. Simple. Oh, and let me tell you about the remote control. Ooh, wee. It's pretty, God, that's horrible. It's pretty nice and packed with all kinds of features and controls. When you see it, it just gives off this luxurious feel and vibe, which I think is pretty cool. But I know why you're all really here. You want to know how it sounded, don't you? You know, I really wanted to put this player through its paces, so I checked it out as both a player and a transport. That way I could get a good sense of how much effort Morantz put into the output stage. I've gotta admit, I was a little nervous because back in the day, the late and great Ken Ishiwata used to help design the internals. I was just hoping that Morantz would still honor his legacy by putting out a top-notch product, and I wasn't disappointed. So, when I used the CD player as just a player, I found the sound to be really nice and well-rounded. It had great detail and covered the whole frequency frequency range quite nicely. Now, I usually don't use newer CD players as players since I have a pretty sweet external deck, but I like to switch between the two just to see how the engineers have worked their magic on the output stage for each player. But you know, a solid CD transport is more than enough for me. When I switched this player into transport mode, I could really hear the improvement. The soundstage felt wider and there was more detail and dynamics. So overall, I'd say it sounded good as a player and great as a transport. The thing is though, I'm using a Denifrips Pontus 2, which is 
considered an amazing deck. So fitting that level of awesomeness into a CD player can be tough both financially and physically for manufacturers. But hey, Morantz did a pretty good job with this one. This Morantz CD player would be perfect for someone who's looking for that gorgeous aesthetic that Morantz brings to the table, along with a really capable CD player and transport. The price point seems just about right to me. I even thought it outperformed the Rotel CD11 Tribute when it came to features and design. But I have to say, the Rotel's output stage did feel pretty comparable to this one. That's the only newer player I've tested that's close to the CD60's price point, so that's what I had to work with. Now, I'm kind of curious to compare this CD60 to the older Moran CD80, just to see how different the engineering is in the output stage. If you already have an external DAC, I think this would make a fantastic transport, especially if you're looking for a player with this kind of style to match your system's aesthetic. I hope this evaluation helps you on your journey if this was one of the options you were considering. It gets a stamp of approval from me. If you already own this player, please leave me a comment down below and letting me know how you like it and how it fits into your system. You can also find me on Patreon and Discord. All the links are provided down below. I will be evaluating the Topping LA90 this weekend and I am going to be addressing the dynamic range database in my next video because I'm not sure how accurate it actually is. It seems every CD on the planet completely failed to impress its software. So stay tuned for that in the coming days. If you found this video interesting and like my vibe, I would love for you to play hide and seek with the like button. <laughs> Take it, Georgie. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, I'll see you on the next one.